All right, so let's solve this guy by completing the square. I've got the steps up here so we can easily follow along. The first step. Move 14 over to the other side. I need to move 14 to the other side. So that means I have 2x squared minus 20x is equal to 14. Okay. Not divide by 2. Well, hold on. Step two says divide by the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared is two. So, divide them all by two. so before I can do the whole divide by two and square it, I have to make sure I have just an x squared. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with like adding a hundred to both sides and totally getting the wrong answer. Thank you. <laughs> so if I divide each term by two. x squared minus 10x equals 7. Now here's something you need to think about in terms of if we should, if we should use completing the square or not. I now, my third step is complete the square. This is where you divide by 2 and square it, right? Mm -hmm. Is it easy to divide this guy by 2 and square it? Mm -hmm. Yes. What, or when would, when would it be a bad idea or it would be difficult to divide by 2 and square it? If it doesn't divide evenly by two. Which means it's not what kind of number? If it's not even, or if it's already a fraction, that could cause us problems, right? But since this guy's even, dividing by two and squaring it is, is easy. So it's going to be 25. Half of negative 10 is negative 5 squared is 25. Have to add that to both sides. So on the left side, I end up with what? How does it factor? X minus 5. X minus 5 squared equals 32. 32. So I factored as a binomial square. And now I'm going to use the square root property to finish, which means what? Square root. Which means X minus 5 equals plus or minus the square root of 32. So take the square root of both sides. X minus 5 equals plus or <coughs> minus, what do I do with 32? 2 square roots of 8. I could do 2 square roots of 8, but even better than that is to say 2 times 16, mm -hmm. because 16 is my perfect square. I get 4 on the outside. Who's on the inside? Because oh, I couldn't four reduce it more. Two. Right, if you had 2 square roots of <laughs> 8, the square root of 8 would reduce further. Mm -hmm. And how do I finish this guy? Five plus or minus four square roots of two. Do you all agree? Yes. Could I separate this? Don't do anything. I, I, I could, but you're right. It's not going to make a difference because I have this radical here, and it's not going to simplify. So I'd be done with that. Questions?